action in the ring now. The last of our undercard fights, the last of the three Olympians. This Lauren Price, 1-0, no knockout. Southpaw is the gold medalist from the UK, from Wales at 165 pounds. And in fact, of all the ladies that you saw tonight on, on the undercard, many here believe is the most talented of the batch of Olympians. Her and Tamia Bellic are in the ring here. This one's a red contest is scheduled for six two-minute rounds and is presented by our official partners, Bet365, Everlast, Village Hotels, Wow Hydrate, and FCI Markets. Our referee when the bell rings, Mr. Mark Bates. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighter out of the blue corner. Wearing the pink shorts, she weighed in at 10 stone, five pounds. She holds a professional record of six wins, six losses, with two of those wins coming by way of knockout. And she fights out of Budapest, Hungary, Tamea Bellin. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner, Wearing the white trunks with purple trim, she stands five foot five and one half inches tall. She weighed at 10 stone, five pounds, five ounces. She holds an undefeated record of one win, no losses. And she fights out of East And you saw a quick shot there of Karis Ardingstall sitting ringside who opened our undercard earlier tonight. She is the partner of Lauren Price. Both of them are what the Sky Sports team and everything has just said an incredible power couple in the sport of boxing. And both have been fighting now for consecutive times on the same pro card after going to the Olympics together. And now Ardingstall sitting ringside to watch her partner Lauren Price in her second professional fight. Taking on Tamia Belek out of Budapest, Hungary. Six and six with two knockouts. A veteran at 147 pounds. Good sturdy stance from Price. You can tell that she's physically strong, even though she has great boxing ability and that amateur pedigree. That physical strength is going to serve her well as she climbs up the ranks. Price right now getting hit with right hands, trying to make it to the inside. She's the shorter of the two. In mid-range seems to be the range that she is more successful. Ooh, nice shot right there. To your point, Tim, I think that's something that Price, I know it's very, very early in her career, but she's going to have to work on that head movement and not just come straight in because the competition will get better. They'll start to time her onslaught and time her for a punch. Devin Haney and George Cambosis fight in the rematch for Undisputed later on in Australia. Jab and 
you know, at the end of the day, you guys called that fight as well. He was just dominant in that first performance, and it looks like Shakur is backing him to be dominant again. Yeah, things can be a little different. I, I think this time around, if the trainers of Cambosis have really did their, their studying and made the proper adjustments during training camp, That's coming up later at 10.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN from Australia. And these two are going headshot for headshot here in round two. It's heating up between Price and Bellick, the last of our undercards before we get to our co-main event. Strong, straight punches being landed from Price and Bellick. She's taking them well. She's taking too many, but she's taking the punch as well. The thing that caught my attention, Dre, is the fact that Price keeps her head on that line, as you mentioned earlier. Even when she throws her shots, her head is directly on the center line. That's the firing range, we call it. She needs to learn to get that head off the line when she's shooting those straight punches. That adjustment you're asking for, Tim, is not a big one. It's just a small one. But she's got to learn that if she's going to get to the top and stay there for some time. Yeah, what you have to understand is, is that your opponent's going to going to throw. They're going to throw where they last seen your head. And if you keep your head on that center line, guess what? And you stay there close enough to be hit, they're going to hit you. And as you can see, Bellick attempting with the right hand right there. Catch Price. Premonition and her tattoo now she can wear that with Prida. She is a two-time Olympic gold medalist The only American to do it in back-to-back -back Olympics male or female Back in the ring here action Round three under a minute and a half to go now as both Lauren Price and Tamia Bellet guys fighting this fight really up and down though Neither fighter really sitting down too much on those punches These rounds from Price are really good because you come in here with fanfare, you get a first or second round knockout, you don't learn much about yourself. You have to go rounds, you have to make mistakes, also do some good things so you have homework for the next training camp and the next fight. Bellick smartly holding now. The 12 fight veteran, second pro fight for Lauren Price, who's just an all around spectacular athlete, four time kickboxing champion, phenomenal soccer player, and right now straight up and down, but landing the tougher shots. Knockout power. Uh, everyone's been talking about her right hand, but she brings a left hook, and you saw it right there on the pad. camp with her in, in, in Denver. I told her, I, I want to feel your power. I want to feel what everybody's talking about. So hit me with a body shot, with a liver shot, and then you hit me with the right hand. And let me tell you, I think the left hook it was a lot harder than the left hand. Than the right hand, excuse me. Just more of the Bellic same this seems round. seems to be content holding when she gets in any bit of adversity. Yes, ex exactly right. And, you know, to those of you watching, we do have a slight delay between me here ringside and the guys at home. So we appreciate you uh, bearing with us as we, we deal with that slight delay. But, yeah, we're on the same page, Timmy. Yeah, pretty much the same. The hand speed, you can see if price is just too much. 
for Belly. Those straight, those straight punches that she's trying to land. I'm talking about Price. And the referee like has it. stepped in, guys. The, the referee has stopped and he had seen enough. Yeah, Belly not defending herself enough for the liking of the referee, and he's stepped in. And Lauren Price collects pro victory number two and gets her first stoppage. Hmm. I, I think that's a terrible stoppage. What do you stoppage. think about the stoppage, guys? There, I, I think it's a terrible stoppage, Christina, but, you know, I'm not in the ring. The, the, the referee is the closest one to those ladies in there, and, and there's a possibility he didn't like the demeanor or the body language of Belly, and that's the reason why he stepped in and stopped the action. Yeah, the referee's closer than anybody else, so we got to take his word for it. On the outside, looking in, it seemed premature, but Belly did take a lot of punishment. She didn't show the effects of it, but she took a lot of shots, and she didn't seem to argue too much with the stoppage. upset a bit in her corner talking back and forth to her team asking him kind of you know what they saw there and like you said he's in there to do his job and protect the fighters at all costs and he steps into this one before the final bell and Lauren Price and all the 2020 Olympians from the UK collect victories this evening on our undercard of the fourth round declaring your winner by TKO and still undefeated, Lauren Price! Her partner, Karis Ardingstall,